Hey, Link. I just need a couple more minutes on your shield. Cool. No worries, Scott. Materials for this prop include cardboard, aluminum tape, blue, red, and gold acrylic paint, adhesive foam tape and squares, weed cloth, brass binder clips, duct tape, rubber furniture pads, scissors, an X-Acto blade, and a pen or pencil. First, draw and cut out your shield. I needed a couple of pieces of cardboard for mine. For extra stability, draw and cut out a second set with a vertical seam instead of a horizontal one. Duct tape the horizontal set together. Cut two narrow strips of cardboard the length of the shield. Tape them together and tape them to the vertical axis of the shield. Line the edges of the second shield set pieces with foam mounting tape and attach them on the first set. Place the foam mounting squares on the shield in the pattern shown. This will be for the hand grips later. Remember to remove the paper coating from both sides of the adhesive squares before placing them on the shield. Press a brass binder clip through each square. I did this step out of order, and should have put the binder clips in before laying the second layer on the first. Wrap the entire shield with strips of aluminum tape. Paint the shield with the acrylic blue. Trace the shape of the shield onto another sheet of cardboard. Draw a perimeter line an inch inward and draw in the brackets. Cut out the design and use it as a template for a second set. Draw and cut out the decorative triangles from the bracket pieces. Tape like pieces together with duct tape and then wrap them in aluminum tape. Use phone adhesive tape to mount the bracket pieces to the blue shield. If you had to make separate bracket pieces like I did, use duct tape to secure them together. Line the edge of the shield with aluminum tape to hide the gap between the bracket and the blue shield. Use foam adhesive squares as additional support for the bracket pieces. Draw the metal decals, the triforce, and the crimson loft wing on spare cardboard and cut them out. Wrap the pieces in aluminum tape and paint them. Red for the crimson loft wing and gold for the triforce. Lay the pieces out on the shield and use foam adhesive to attach them. Use circular furniture pads for the shield's bolts and cover them in aluminum tape. Flip the shield over and cut a piece of weed cloth to cover it. Attach it to the shield with duct tape and cover it with aluminum tape. When you've taped half the shield, poke the brass binder clips through the weed cloth, then finish taping the other half. Cut out two strips of cardboard large enough to cover the brass binder clips. Roll the pieces to give them a curve. Poke the clips through the cardboard at one end, curve the cardboard upward, and poke the remaining clips through the other end. Unfold the clips and place an adhesive square over each. Repeat for the second handle. Place another piece of cardboard over the adhesive squares. And there's your finished Hylian shield. All done. So where are you off to? I don't know. It's all the one to buy those shields for something. What? That's none of your true jelly worm! Be careful with your knives, boys. <laughs> Yeah! Oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> you literally killed Ganondorf! I am so sorry! <laughs> that was a good oh, hit! And that held together!